Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for not going to my daughter's graduation after she chose to invite her dad. I am 40, and I have an 18 if daughter named Belle. When she was younger, her dad was very involved in her life, and she was definitely a daddy's girl. But everything changed when she turned eight, and he remarried. After that, he basically disappeared. He barely called, and was completely wrapped up in his new family. It was hard on Belle, and she rebelled a lot. She went to therapy and seemed to be doing better, but she hasn't seen him since she was 12, and he only contacts her maybe three times a year. Every time he does call, she thinks he's back for good, but then he disappears again. Belle and I have a strong bond. We do everything together, and she even calls me her best friend. So when her graduation came up, I was beyond excited. But just a week before the big day, she dropped a bombshell. She's inviting her dad and his son, and because he doesn't want to see me, I can't come. Belle told me it was the only way he'd show up. I was furious and felt completely betrayed. I told her I couldn't forgive her for this. She said I'd been there for so many of her milestones, and she wanted her dad to be part of this one. Things got heated, and we ended up arguing. The night before graduation, I begged her to reconsider, but she wouldn't budge. She just kept saying, I'm sorry, but I'm not changing my mind. I left feeling devastated and cried until my sister suggested we go out to distract myself. I agreed. The next morning, I woke up to find Belle in tears. I checked the time and realized the ceremony was about to start. I asked her why she wasn't already there, and she told me her dad had ditched her and wasn't answering his phone. I hugged her and told her to make the most of her day. She was shocked and asked if I wasn't going now that her dad wasn't coming. She said it would be embarrassing to be the only one there without parents. I told her I already had plans and couldn't make it. Belle lost it, screaming that I was a bad mom. I apologized again, got ready to meet my sister, and decided not to go. I wanted to teach Belle that actions have consequences, even though it broke my heart not to be there. Since then, Belle hasn't spoken to me, and it looks like she's been crying for ages. I'm starting to second-guess my decision. My sister says I did the right thing, but another mom from Bell's school told me she was really down at her graduation. Now, I'm feeling guilty for ruining what should have been a memorable day, just to teach my daughter a lesson. Update I don't think I'm a bad mom for this one thing, and I accept the judgments and read everything. To answer your question, Bell does go to therapy. This isn't the first time Bell has ditched me for her dad, she's been doing it for 10 years. This is the first time I've said no to her after her father abandoned her. I asked her therapist if Belle was being manipulated, and she said no based on Belle and her father's messages. It seems my daughter is just clinging to a reality that isn't there. I went to my daughter and apologized for not going to her graduation. I explained that it felt terrible to be left out and that I felt underappreciated. I said it's fine for her to want her father there, but I should be considered too. Belle told me she was sorry things ended this way and that she loved me. She hugged me and said she wanted things to go back to normal. She admitted she acted poorly. I told her I should have been there, and if I could do it all over again, I would have gone. Honestly, I said this because I thought she would now realize her dad can't be trusted, and I felt for her. And I asked her if she regretted not inviting me in the first place, and unsurprisingly, she said no. This hurt me, but I figured it was understandable, because I didn't go. However, she went on to say it was probably for the best I didn't go because she would have been more miserable with me there, as she would have preferred her dad anyway. I was furious, but didn't show it. I told her my feelings were hurt, especially since I've always been there for her. She said she'll always want her dad at her big moments. I asked if she meant even at my expense, knowing he probably wouldn't show up. She replied, I mean if I have to make sacrifices, I'm going to have my dad there. I repeated the question as she seemed to be avoiding it but she just shrugged and went on her phone. I told her not to expect everyone to apologize and overlook her behavior in the real world. I also said that knowing how she feels, she shouldn't expect another apology from me, and this is the last time I'm doing this. She looked tearful, but I left. I don't know how other parents handle this. I know her father will keep abandoning her, and honestly, I'm at my limit. If I hadn't been sure before, I definitely feel I was right not to go. I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this, but I'm bitter and angry. I understand wanting her dad there, but I should be just as important. I'll still be there for her when he inevitably ditches her again, but if this behavior continues to her next graduation or wedding day, I can't say I'll be very apologetic. 
I'm going to refer to Bell's father as Frank. To clear up some misconceptions, I don't speak to Bell's father because he refuses to cooperate. Also, when I said Bell calls me her best friend, it doesn't mean I treat her like my equal. I do parent her, she's been grounded and had her phone taken away when she misbehaved at school, which is rare. I think she calls me that because she feels comfortable talking to me about everything. There was an incident after where Bell wanted her dad to help her move into her college apartment before the term started, but he refused because he had work. She begged for weeks, and the entire three-hour drive to her college was filled with her crying hysterically. My sister consoled her, but if I'm being honest, I was furious. Furious at my daughter for refusing to go to therapy anymore, but more so at my ex. It took me ages after graduation, but I finally got in touch with Frank's aunt. I explained the situation and said I needed to contact him, as he was either ignoring or not receiving my messages. He ended up sending me a long letter. In short, he claimed that my daughter had been stalking and threatening him and his family. He said he had tried to have a healthy relationship with her, but had to distance himself because of her aggression. He acknowledged he hasn't been the best father but said he had tried in recent years. He refused to attend the graduation, saying it was probably for the best because I wouldn't feel comfortable with him there. He said not to contact him again, and that we've done enough damage. He added photocopies of messages between him and Bell, where she says deeply troubling things. Personally, I thought everything he said was BS and misconstrued. I spoke to Bell and told her of her father's accusations. She broke down in tears hysterically and admitted that she hasn't been the nicest to Frank's wife and child, understandably, but she never threatened and stalked them. I was trying to calm her down. I told her I believe her and suggested therapy. Then she turned on me, blaming me for the breakdown between her and her father relationship. She swore at me and broke stuff. She told me to stop trying to villainize her father when I'm the problem. She called me a burden in cancer and said I should have stayed out of her business. I was called a bad mother and told I should burn in hell. To be clear, she was never violent towards me. She packed her stuff and left, presumably back to college. Me or my family haven't heard from her since. I called and called but only got one message from a random number telling me to leave her alone. I told her I'm always here when she's ready to talk. It's been over two months since I spoke to Belle. I'll never admit this to anyone, but honestly, I feel relieved. My self-esteem had plummeted, and I felt dead inside because of this situation. I'm going to therapy and feel a tiny bit better. I finally went on a date yesterday for the first time in a decade without feeling guilty. In hindsight, my relationship with Belle was far from perfect. I don't know what more I could have done, but I wish I had done more. She's my child and was a victim of a truly terrible situation. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.